Hi everyone, Nalbar here. In this video, I'll be showing why I think DDO speedrunning is awesome. Enjoy. For my demonstration, I'll be soloing the pit, one of DDO's most infamous complicated quests. Someone has made a video challenging players to complete this quest. I couldn't find the video, but I did remember that he completed it in just a little bit over 10 minutes. So, my goal is to do anything sub 10. If you are not familiar with this quest, I do have a full guide to how to properly do the pit with all the optionals and everything. Just in case you were wondering, this was built on Lamania to test a build whose designed for speed. The build is 18 monk, 1 fighter and 1 artificer. Artificer will give me a pet to pull levers and open lock and open secret doors. Also I've got 1 fighter for extra speed boosts. I need them to go with a falconry haste boost so I can boost multiple times. For anyone trying to do this really fast, of course you'll have to memorize all these rune wheels. In total I've ran this quest in preparation for this video about like 7 times. So while this entire video was only around 10 minutes, a bit more maybe, and the actual time I spent just preparing for this video, including the making the build, is much longer. As the wheel slides into place, the loud comes from the center of the room. Also, I took human so I could take the dragon mark of passage that would give me dimension door. I personally am a big fan of speedrunning. I love watching speedrunning and I've watched speedruns for many games who I have no intention to ever play. But if not for the speedruns I would never know they existed. And sometimes I even see a game that I might think to myself, hey that looks interesting, I might want to play that. I believe that the same can go for DDO. Unfortunately DDO does not have any kind of proper presentation in the speedrun community. My hope is that it might get some traction and attract some kind of speed runners who would like to pick up the game and run it ahead. Well there's a lot to talk about the different categories and the achievements and how to keep score and a whole bunch of other things that would go into it. All of those things are discussions for after we can find a few dedicated speedrunners. 
because without players would actually sit and put the time into making speedruns, we've got nothing. I personally do not have the capabilities to do speedruns. It's just not my thing. I do understand it and I truly appreciate what goes into it. And I'm well aware of the fact that it's just not for me. I feel that discussing the different categories and options and being a backseat driver is not really productive. So having a few players that would be serious about speedrunning would be essential before this would ever take off. In my mind, if speedrunning in DDO would take off, this would be a really awesome thing. I would love watching speedruns of different raids, complicated quests, and a whole bunch of other interesting DDO content. In spite of the fact that it doesn't exist, if you would like to try this out for yourself, I do strongly recommend it. When you try to speedrun something, it completely changes the way you think about the quest. Certain things you might take for granted, you will automatically change. This room over here, who is really not complicated, just takes tons of time. I spend a good amount of time just in this one room, more than the furnaces or anything else. Just the technicalities of not being able to see the tiles, when monsters die on top of the tiles, and if, knowing that if you really want to go for a world record speedrun, you'd have to know every tile, how many clicks to spin it, so even if you couldn't see it, you would just count 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2 on each tile. The amount of time and effort that could go into speedrunning this quest is unbelievable. I honestly believe that this quest can be, sp uh, can be run in sub 7 minutes. And that's solo. I'm not talking about how fast you can do this if you have a full party. I'll be the first to say that this speedrun is not perfect. It is not even close to being optimized. In fact, I made so many mistakes that I'm sure that I could sit down right now and another three, four runs would get it better. In other words, if I'd spent another hour on this video, you would have had probably an even better run. The fact is, though, I just don't have the time for that. I cannot afford spending extra time running extra runs. Like I said already before, speedrunning is just not for me. For anyone really meant on knowing what I would consider this category, so this would be the any category as fast as possible. I'm here level 30 inside of a level 7 quest and I'm doing it on casual. The goal of here is just to look at the scorecard at the end of the quest and see how much time it says. Anyway, we're about to finish. I would just like to say that it's not only up to the community, I think that developers will have a hand in this also. Making some kind of scoreboard or giving some kind of capacity that shows the players in game that they're being supported would help new players join. I don't know, adding maybe a millisecond counter to the scorecard at the end would show that precision makes a difference. And would maybe encourage players to try to get, you know, grind a few seconds, a milliseconds down. Also, perhaps maybe, maybe having, like, leaderboards in the Hall of Heroes. These things can be awesome. Well, that's going to be it. Just one second, I'll show you the scorecard.
Let's see if we succeeded or not. Who am I kidding? You know I did. There you go. 9 minutes and 26 seconds. Probably if I would have something with light resistance, I'd be able to save the extra seconds at the end. That and a few other mistakes probably could have gotten sub 9. Yeah, as long as it was sub 10, I was, I was happy with it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found this really energizing. Maybe even consider trying to beat my time. Again, anything goes. Try to see if you can get the pit done in less than, well, what I posted right now. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for being a true fan staying all the way to the end. See you next video. Bye.